Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today we're going to be making our way down to Lost Isolith. But before we do, make sure that you have at least 30 humanity. I have 40 because I like to stay at 10 humanity. Also, I did level up my longbow to level 14. And I bought some more arrows. I am wearing the old witch's ring. You don't have to. This is just for a little bit of dialogue with the fair lady. Which we're going to talk to now. And get into a covenant and give her 30 humanity. So let's go ahead and do that now. Oh my dear sister, don't mind me. It does not hurt terribly. Enter a covenant again, of course. Let me try. Let's go ahead and give her 30 humanity. Oh, thank you, Quayla. Quayla, my dear sister, you know, I still remember your beautiful, silky face. If only I could gaze upon it once more. Goodbye, Quaylag. Do be safe. Right here, this elevator looking thing we're going to activate shortly into the video. Well, not really shortly. A little ways into the video, we'll end up activating that elevator. For now, we're going to come down here. Going to want to get our bow out, by the way. Don't worry about these guys. Just run by them. They're not really a threat. Nor are they worth killing. They have a bunch of those parasitic worms that pop out of them if you kill them so don't kill them unless you want to fight those worms which are kind of assholes we want to fight all these taurus demons there's a lot of them i think there's what two four six seven seven eight of them well we got the attention of this taurus demon You can roll underneath them really easily if they have that jump attack. They will also drop their weapon if you're lucky. It's not a guaranteed drop. Let's take care of these two over here to the right. Kind of stay over here. That way you don't aggro all of these Taurus demons. He's a little too far over his head. Three more to go after this. They're not too hard, but they can hit pretty hard, so do be careful. They're still a threat, even though you can kill them with just a few hits. To think, this was the first boss of the game. Now we're making them look like chumps, huh? Okay. 
absolutely love when they do that jump attack. So easy to dodge it. Also, you can see these items off in the distance. We're not going to get them just yet. We'll come back at the end of the video and get those when we have a ring to be able to walk in lava and not die. For now, we're just going to turn around and continue forth. This is a really big area that has a lot of nothing in it. I mean, just where we're at here, not Lost Isolith itself. This is a Capra Demon. This was also a boss, but now he's a chump. They can also drop their weapon. It's kind of a rare drop for both of the, uh, those enemies to drop their weapon. Right here, make sure that you're in your human form because you want to get invaded by Kirk. We just got to run down a little ways. About right here. We can turn around. And as long as that fog wall is there, that's how you know like he's going to invade you. And then just get a free backstab on him. Every now and then you can get his shield. It's not a guaranteed drop as well, but... Cheese these Capra Demons. Just easier that way. Instead of fighting two at the same time. I mean, if you feel confident, though, feel free to fight both of them at the same time. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Then we have one more Capra Demon. Oh, you bastard. He clipped me. Come over here. Get a soul item. Get some green titanite shards, which we do not need at all. We're going to light this bonfire. By the way, do not get close to those worms. They have an attack where they can spit some stuff at you. I guess acid. And it'll break your weapons and armor and stuff. It's no fun. That's for sure. I'm not going to sit at that bonfire. But if you don't feel comfortable continuing on without sitting at it. Go ahead and sit at it. Not a big deal.
want to get the attention of this demon here. And don't get too close to that worm either. Because he will spit at you. And then we'll take this Taurus Demon out. We're using our bow quite a bit in this area. Just makes things a whole lot easier, less stressful. You don't have to worry about fighting these Taurus Demons on a little ledge here. Which isn't always the best place to fight them. The only part that's really going to be dangerous in this section is going to be coming up here. Because we have to activate a trap and we're kind of stuck between four worms. Two in front and two in back of us. First we need to take out this one though. Give you some green titanite shards. So when you get about right here, these worm guys are going to come out. Just turn around immediately and run backwards. Kind of see that spitting attack that it did. That's the attack you don't want hitting you. Not unless you're trying to damage your weapons, which I don't know why you would be. But I don't know your personal life. Might have some reason why you want to damage your weapons. Maybe you want to go through the game on a harder setting. Maybe it's just not hard enough for you, huh? In the next episode, we're going to have to make a divine weapon. Which I think we'll either use the bastard sword... Or we'll use the Flamberg or Flamberge. I'm not sure how to pronounce that weapon. Get some more green titanite. And then we get the large flame ember. Let's go ahead and equip our sword again. We'll two-hand it. No reason not to. We don't need our shield out. Not yet, at least. Up top, we got two of these demons. We're just going to wait for them to come down. We got another Capra Demon over here. Get another Soul. Before we go through this fog wall, we want to come over here. We want to jump across. And we're going to come just right here to grab another soul item. And then about in the middle of these two pillars, we're going to roll off. And completely miss that. <laughs> that normally doesn't happen. But apparently because I'm recording, they're like, haha. The recording gods were like, no, Mr. Wayne. Take as much damage as humanly possible. Take out these sunlight maggots. They do have a chance to drop uh, sunlight metals. You can actually farm sunlight metals from them over here. We want to open this up. This is why we gave um, the fair lady 30 humanity. 
is to be able to open this up. Right here, there's a red-eyed chaos bug. Or not chaos bug. Um, sunlight, sunlight maggot. You want to kill him, number one, for the sunlight maggot head. And also to prevent Solaire from going hollow. You want to save Solaire, so... Because it's the nice thing to do, man. I don't know why I called him a chaos bug. You honestly don't have to kill the rest of those guys, but I always do. Makes me feel better. Get some uh, Twinkling Titanite from that um, crystal lizard. Over there is a Titanite demon. You can kind of make him out. Here, I'll go into my bow view there. He's turned around. You can go kill him if you like. And you can have a shortcut to the boss and skip over a bunch of stuff. But then we would miss out on the orange charred ring and we can't be doing that. We need that orange charred ring. But if you don't care about it, just go kill that Titanite demon and head straight to the main boss. Which the main boss ugh, is a mess. Really awesome design. Poor mechanic in general. Just just horrible, horrible mechanic. Let's go through this fog wall and we're going to fight a boss. This is another stray demon. Even though it's a fire sage or demon fire sage or whatever. Still, Stray Demon in my eyes, or Asylum Demon, whatever you want to call it. Oh, wow, that caught me. Ouch. It's really not hard, doesn't do a lot of damage. Thought it was far enough away, but I guess not. Pretty easy. I was kind of reckless, though. I'm gonna be honest. It's a bit reckless. We get a humanity, and then we can pick up the demon's catalyst. Before we go to the bottom, we want to go up top real quick. We're going to activate that elevator I was talking about earlier. Awesome. The one in the back didn't see us, so we were able to kill those guys and then have an easy kill on that one. Get another soul. And then we'll run over the switch and send the elevator up. Now you have a shortcut down to here. Just going to fall off here. It's not a big deal. Go ahead and light this bonfire, and I think I am going to kindle this one, but we won't kindle the next one. The only reason I kindled that is because I want 10 Estus going into this boss fight. 
again, this boss fight isn't hard. It's just can be a little difficult with navigating the lava. The lava will kill you pretty fast. Okay, let's do this correctly. You're going to roll off and barely make it on there. I have a problem today with rolling onto these roots. Don't be like me, kids. Aim properly. We're going to summon in Solaire. Get his help with this boss. Really, he just takes on aggro, so this boss is a little less frustrating with the lava. We're going to wait for him to get over here, and then we'll go through the fog wall and see a cutscene. All right, let's go through the fog wall. Let's run through this right here. See how much damage we take with the lava. That's why I said you, you're going to want to kindle that bonfire and you're going to want to sit at it. Just so you have enough Estus. And then we want to come over here. We can grab the green shards. It doesn't matter either way. But he's got a stretchy attack that can knock you into the lava. It's just not fun. It's not a bad thing. It's just navigating this section is the trick we can cut off his tail or that big arm and we have to kill it once we cut it off and we'll be able to get the orange charred ring and make this boss fight a little easier try to get him to jump there we go there we go he tried to grab us. See if Solaire can't get his attention for a moment. And he did. Uh, thank you for getting grabbed, Solaire. Helped us out. I know that's not ideal for you, bud. But it is for us. Cut off another portion of his tail. Which you can cut that piece off too and get the orange charred ring as well. You still have to kill the tail. Once you kill the tail, that's when it gives you the orange charred ring, by the way. Pretty easy. Not too hard of a boss. We get a humanity, a homeward bone, and a sunlight medal because Solaire stayed alive. Go ahead and talk to Solaire. You can kind of see that he's going to be pretty upset. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. And that's all the dialogue we're going to get from him. I'm not going to bother sitting at this bonfire. If you'd like to, you can, but we're going to get another one here shortly. I just don't find it worth sitting at. This is going to be a pretty long video, by the way. We have quite a bit to do still. Get the soul of a brave warrior. We take a lot less damage now that we have that ring on. If 
By the way, the only reason I put that ring on during the boss fight is just in case I got smacked into the lava. You don't have to put that ring on in the boss fight. Let's grab the soul of a great hero. What a mighty, mighty soul. We're just going to circle behind here. If we go through the front, we're going to have one of these half a dragon, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, the dragon legs or whatever chasing after us. And I just prefer for that not to chase us. Come over here. We're going to get some twin humanities. And then we can hop down right here. Take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Because if we hit this wall, it's a illusory wall, and we can light this bonfire. We're going to sit at it, and we're going to kindle it. I know I like to say that I, to, that I like to stay at 10 humanity, and we will get another humanity here shortly. Because we're going to kill... Kirk again. I think we fought him three times now and he still has not learned his lesson. I'm not sure, but I think we've backstabbed him every single time. Pretty sure we have. Before we go down, I want to put on our rusted iron ring. And the reason why is because we're going to go down into a swamp here in just a moment. Now this swamp is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, this guy's a pain in the ass. Um, it's mainly a pain in the ass because it's hard to try not to get Sigmire killed. You do not want him to die because then it will end his quest line. Do your best not to let him die. I'm not sure if it's because of the poison or what, but sometimes he just dies randomly. Even though, like, I don't let him get hit or anything, he just dead. Eh, I don't feel like living today. Sigmire is a beast of his own his quest line can be a little annoying at times go ahead and get another soul we have a ton of souls that I haven't spent and then we're gonna have like this Cthulhu looking monster with a ton of eyes and some tentacles and shit be careful. Don't let these guys hit you either. They have a spraying attack. It'll ruin your weapon. It's like acid or something. They can also drop uh, red titanite chunks. So if you're looking for some red titanite chunks, this is the place to get them. Right up here, we're going to have a chaos witch. Or one of the daughters of chaos, I think. She's going to drop an item, but first we want to take care of Kurt. Put the hurt on Kirk. Go ahead and get his spiked shield. And then get the Isolith Catalyst. Again, be careful with these Cthulhu guys. I like to run to the right and then run to the left. Kind of slips them up a little bit. Get a pyromancy. And then before we go down the big route here, I want to go down another route. We're actually just going to hop off here. Take out this demon. 
get another soul. They are just throwing souls at us today, aren't they? Be careful with this. What I like to do is slide off and then immediately, like, hit back on the joystick to make sure that I don't fall off this route. Very easy to fall off. We get a ring of sacrifice. So if you're not worried about having a ring of sacrifice or a rare ring of sacrifice, um, I wouldn't even bother falling off of that. It's really the only reason why we went over there besides the uh, soul. All right, over here. Fuck you, demon boy. Take him out. And him. And him. And him. <laughs> so many, one after another. Over here is where that Titanite demon is. So if you killed the Titanite demon earlier, and uh, ran through the long bridge. This is where you would have ended up. Remember we have our rusted iron ring on. Because we're about to go into a swamp. Do stay on your left side. If you don't you're going to fall down. And you're not going to have fun. We want to walk off right here. So there's a trick with this. We can kill these guys really quick. We can kill this one on the right, the far right. Do not kill this guy. If you kill this guy, Sigmire is not going to co come down here. And it's just, it's going to be a mess. Like the quest is going to act up and yeah. It's not fun. But you can kill these two guys right next to each other. And then this guy on the far right. And then leave this one alive. It's the only one you have to leave alive. The rest you can kill. Mm -hmm. Oh, ho! Oh. Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought, I just drifted away. Must be the warmth. Well, what's on your mind? No, don't tell me. Those monsters making life difficult for you? You need not be ashamed. We're all in the same boat, you know. I really have run up quite a debt to you. Perhaps the time has come. <sighs> um... Friend, I have an idea, a good one, really. I will rush those dire fiends and you can slip away in the confusion. Please, friend, I owe you much more than this. By the honor of the Knights of Katarina, allow me to assist you. And now, I go. Don't be slow. let him go over there real quick we can pick up this red titanite chunk and then we'll talk to him but you didn't you get away well you've saved me once again oh thank goodness I'm exhausted I think I'll have a rest oh don't you worry the ground below me is my pillow I'll recover shortly Okay, and just let him be there, and eventually we'll pick back up with Sigmire. Just kind of pick up all these items. Some more green titanite. 
which we don't really need at this point. We have got plenty, but never hurts to have more. Kind of veer off to the left, and then right here, we're going to veer off to the right. This is going to be a red Titanite slab, so if you don't have the old witch's ring and maybe you got the uh, master key and or some other item you can trade that red titanite slab for the old witch's ring at snugly but i mean it's not really that important to have just allows you to talk to the fair lady we're gonna come up top we're gonna have another cthulhu monster there's a ton of them over here just be really careful try not to get your stuff broken Especially now when we're so close to the last boss here. Let's take a purple moss clump. Some more red titanite chunks or a chunk. We're going to come around this pillar on the left here. And then run around this root. Another root right there. And then this big root, we're going to just take it on up. And then we can be done with this area. Let's go up top here. And now it's time for this bullshit boss like i said i think it looks like a really awesome boss but as a gameplay mechanic it just sucks so bad what we're gonna do is we're going to kill one side uh like we're gonna take out a root on each side and when we do we're going to exit out of the game and then come back in it's kind of cheesy but i think it's kind of necessary for this boss i mean you don't have to do it this way it just saves you a lot of frustration and trouble and i personally think it's a way better way a way better way okay it's just a better way of dealing with this boss we're gonna run to the left first have your shield out because it will try to smack you with its arm. Okay, it didn't smack me. <laughs> As I said, oh, it doesn't smack me. It fucking smacks me. Go ahead and exit out and come back in. And that'll lead us up to the top. So we'll have to slide back down. I'm just going to top myself off. I'm going to stay topped off. Even though we can get smacked right off of the um, stuff here. Because the ground's going to crumble from underneath us now. Which kind of makes this the annoying part. Because you have... Hands smacking you off the fucking thing and then like that. Oh my goodness. Heal up. Just kind of keep your shield out if you can
again, exit out, come back in. Top ourselves off. Here comes the hard part. We're going to slide down and then we're going to run straight ahead. Well, kind of a little bit to the right, but we're going to run straight ahead. You'll see as we get down. So just kind of stay more to the right side. As soon as you come in here, just start running. And don't stop running. Do not stop running. Start with a run and stay with a run. But as you can tell, I kind of stayed a little more to the right than to the left. If you stay more to the left, you're going to fall straight into oblivion. And then kill the bed of chaos. I would say easy peasy, but that is not easy at all. It is very annoying to do that. So we get a Lord Soul and we get a Humanity. And also there is a Bonfire. We're going to light this. We're going to sit at it. And we're going to go over to the Daughter of Chaos. I'll see everybody there. All right, before we do anything with the fair lady, we want to turn around here and pick up Kirk's armor. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm going to. And the reason why is because I want an extra firekeeper soul. We're going to go ahead and kill the fair lady. Pick up the firekeeper soul. And Ingi's pretty pissed off at us. Why, you monster! The fair lady! What have you done? What have you done? If you kill him, a bunch of the parasitic worms are going to pop out. Take them out as fast as you can. They're assholes. They, they really are assholes, though. As you can tell, they, they don't really give you a chance to... Smack them before they stagger you. Get two egg vermifuge. Vermifuge? However, however you pronounce that. We're going to come back down here. Might as well heal real quick. We're going to go get those other items I said we were going to get later on into the video or at the end of the video. First, we want to rest at this bonfire, and the reason why is because we can homeward bone back to this bonfire, as the other bonfire is now extinguished because we killed its keeper. Now, before we walk in the lava, because we did take our orange charred ring off, put it back on. If you don't, you're going to die. <laughs> Most likely going to die. Uh, you just take so much fire damage whenever you're in the lava if you don't have that ring on. So this first item, it's debatable on getting because it's just a soul. But to me, every soul matters. The more, the merrier. You want to run and jump to get this item, by the way. Get a large soul of a proud knight. And then over here is the more important item. It's going to be the Chaos Flame Ember. And we have not met the blacksmith yet that we're going to give that to, but... We will give um, that to the blacksmith that's needing um, both of those embers that we got here in Lost Isolith. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to warp back to that bonfire we rested at, and then I'm going to head to Firelink Shrine. So I'll see everybody at Firelink Shrine. 
All right, everyone. This is where we end the video. And first and foremost, I would like to tell everybody, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.